Hey, what's going on everyone? This is your Shirley back with another video and today we're gonna be doing some Greystone offline, just taking for a spin, just doing some normal kind of gameplay right here. Although ever I keep saying this in my videos, but ever since we have received this whole like matchmaking improvements, all my lobbies have been a lot more stacked um as expected with all these like different kind of players. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of my video just being just full like a lot more competitive mindset kind of people which not necessarily bad that's kind of like the matchmaking at work but that also means that whenever i'm trying to cook something up like a not bash off lane then things are going to get, get a lot more rougher when i'm in the lobby full of high um rank kind of players so we're going to see how Grayson kind of feels going against um peak on his fame man right here so it's going to be a comfort heal on his side and so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this whole like off lane um stuff will go for us right here I think I'm going to just open up with the queue honestly Just trying to um, keep the fame out of the way of my wave So we kind of pressure him um, a little bit better I think until I get level 6 um, It's going to be a, um, a little bit more favorable towards him I feel like He's going to have a lot better early game training patterns for the most part So I have to be mindful of that I feel Cause the way he's trying to really posture for um, killing me at like 3-6 I'm um, right here I'm gonna immediately level up my E so I can kind of do a chunky um, trade right there But also means that I won't have my um, on B just yet if I need to get out away from danger Dang that's out of range right there that kind of sucks That's out of range because I won't be able to go onto that fame mount right there so I'm gonna back off just a little bit just to get my cooldowns ready because I feel like every time this fame mod is jumping on me I need to use my Q or my E to try to enter him properly I'm just gonna use my E right there Try to push him whenever I can but also clean the wave It's gonna be key for me And I'm actually gonna die right there It's really really hard to straight into a fame mod like level like foot first few levels like i have to get six until i can actually fight him a whole lot because every time i'm trying to like um deal with him i'm also gonna like get really kind of chunked down on his like all attack e it's just really annoying for grace when they go against matchups where they have very quick bursty kind of combos and you can't like do anything because every time you want to trade back with them you have to full commit on to um, them every single time. It's hard to do on their very slippery um, kill to like the fame now. So I didn't want to blink because if I use my blink, then obviously the fame is going to blink and kill me. So I, I figure I hold it for now to try to kill a kill later or when I need to like get out of a situation where I feel like I can be safer and. I do feel like we do outscale the fame now in the sense in the 1v1 we're not going to have any troubles once we get 6, once we get 5 blocks them online That's going to really help out a lot I feel as well So that's going to be armor and also just possibly damage around us Yeah, I think he opted to do the tier buff right there by looking things Yeah, if he's going to just keep doing that every single time and he knows he can get away with it but for me it's just harder So every time he's walking up like that I have to try punch But then he's just gonna use his zombie to get out too That's what I mean, Fame Mount has really great control of these train pounds, I don't Yeah he really wants to just constantly just eat me every time So I'm just gonna use my E He's gonna trade with me I'm gonna try my best to um, go even with this And then he's just gonna go away immediately it's just gonna be with some P, he's gonna keep doing this and eventually I'm gonna wheel down until I get like level 6. So I'm just gonna back cause he's literally just gonna keep doing that, I can't do anything about it. So I'll take my reset, I'll get my brimstone so I start to trade a little bit better into that and have better all lanes. So by the time I get back into lane, um, I won't be too far off from level 6 and that's what I need to actually not be afraid to just go really aggressive on that fame mail. So he's gonna get level 6 before me since I lost the tier buff and the EXP from leaving the lane 
but that's fine. I just need to play patient because he is pushing that this wave in as you guys see. So I just need to be patient and then I'll be fine. Yeah, he's gonna just keep doing that every single time. I just have to let him bullet me until I get level 6, until I can really start to actually push him a bit better. Which I should hit 6 off this way, please. Yes, I do. Nice, so now I get to actually go a lot more ham on him. And even if we both get low, I just use my ultimate, I get my HP back, and then I can keep fighting afterwards. But at the same time, it also means that like, as long as Feynman have his arm B up, I can never realistically kill him because he has way more mobility than I would ever have. So I got to have, um, it's gonna be one of those back and forth where I can never kill the Feynman, but then the Feynman can never kill me as well. I'm just gonna stay. Um, I, I need to catch up somehow, and I think I'm just gonna keep chugging this lane in my queue. So it's hard for me to tell if I'm going to have enough for my um, fire boss on this back, but we'll try. We'll use ultimate right there. So it's going to go make him go half HP right there, as you guys see. And he's not going to blink just yet, wow. I was trying to predict him using his arm BY right weight, but he held on to it. Tower under attack. So I'll bait for my fame out actually. Oh, they didn't quite hit that um, arm B right there. Nice. That's you. And that's how we're gonna play it. We're not gonna really realistically kill this fame out by ourselves ever, but that's when we can at least get him low enough and let our fame out just finish him off um, pretty fast. Mm, I'm gonna be slightly off on my fire blossom, unfortunately. I think I was way in base. I think it's worse for me to wait a little bit longer if it means I get fire blossom off this back. My wave is shoved in a good spot anyway, so I have some time to kill into the in the battle to my weights. The only thing that's different about what I'm doing today's build is instead of going by time spreads that I like to go to a lot of times, I'm gonna go for ice cone talent because I feel like I want to get the extra movement speed to stick onto people a bit better, especially like the spell base. I feel like if I have something like Ice Gone Talents and it shouldn't be too hard for me to Enemy keep up with them. Or even if I need to chase down the fame now, I have a better way to trade into him. Or even when he's doing the really aggressive trading as he's been doing the entire game, I can just pop down Ice Gone Talents, I slow him, I do increase damage and we can really just take some really chunky Enemy trades right there. So this fame is actually going to offer what's well, going to look like a me later angle. So... It's gonna be interesting to see how that fails against me. I think that's a good choice since I'm going more tanky build anyway. I can't believe he took a tower shot just to do that trading right there. But I guess he really just wanted to keep being aggressive like that onto me. Okay, he's just gonna walk away. I want to make sure I get my E trade right there at least. And then now we back off. Nice I block it. Nice, got two E, three E parts right there. That's huge. We're actually starting to really out trade him, but the power of five blocks him right here. So I'm not afraid to get aggressive on him at this point. Nice. That time we protect him the arm B. As soon as I saw him turn around, we just melee arm B so we can finish him off right there. So nice, we got the solo kill onto the fame Mel. So the early game part was worth, but I just knew that if we play patiently, we will just outscale him um, in the long run. So that's just really huge stuff for us right there from that kill. 
I don't think I have enough time to really um, take that tower with Fema coming back in. So I'm going to opt to just reset immediately. So I'm putting the best spot. I'm going to come back into lane. Now it seems like team is doing fine on the left side. And we're just going to keep just going right lane because just knowing this play, he's always going to keep split pushing for like the majority of the game. So it's going to be hard for me to rotate out of this lane, but that also just means I'm going to always be at my strongest when I can keep farming the waves out like this. I'm not even going to bother to try that contestant too buff because he really has a way better kit at burst damage, so I can't um, last hit him on that with waste zone. Nice, we dodge his E right there. Dang, that slow really kind of just hurts us whenever we're trying to use our E on him right there. I know he really wants the um, cannon, so we're gonna try to pressure him as we can, like so. Nice stuff. Nice, we got all three E parts right there. So he, he, he's already getting pretty low, and I still have my ultimate. So right now, I'm actually in a really good spot against this Bane Mel. That's what you gotta do. You gotta realize that, like, even though. You and it gets a player that's really aggressive. You guys just know if your your character limits and how they stack up against the other person's character. I just know my great zone's way better than the fame mount post level six. So even though he's the one being super aggressive, I should let not let that go unpunished. I won't have enough to finish off the tower, but I'm definitely getting there pretty soon. So he's actually gonna opt to um, take his triple camp on the blue side, so that means that I'm gonna just shove this in really quickly because I think I want to reset anyway soon. Oh, enemy tower is under attack. And since my team is doing the mini farm, I'm gonna help them close this out uh, pretty quickly. Okay, I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna get my T2 component so I can get to shred some armor. And then I'm also going to get Ice Bone Talents as well, so now I can actually really bully this fame out even further right here, ladies and gents. Because Ice Bone Talents increase my movement speed, it slows down the enemies, and gives me increased physical power. So now it's just like I can really stick onto the fame out really aggressively. So I think as soon as he drops down his arm B, I should use that to um, chase after him essentially. I have no idea if this um, 2 buff is up or not. It's 10 seconds off. Okay, it seems like nothing really happy missed, so I'm just gonna go take this 2 buff since my right lane is always shoved in pretty hard right there. Okay, that gave me um, level 2 on the ultimate. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep shoving in. I feel like with Greystone, you can actually be pretty safe when it comes to split pushing. We can wait to follow him with our arm B. Nice, we're gonna get the blink out of that. Maybe I can follow with my blink if I really want to. Hmm. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to get that and we're just kinda gonna walk out of that as well. We're trying to see if we can maybe get it if he's not paying attention and unfortunately he was paying attention right there so we couldn't finish him off. But we got the ultimate, we got the blink, it's fine. And we still get enough of Basta so it's gonna be a decent back for us right here.
And we definitely gonna go sail to third because it's gonna work really great for attacking armor threat so we can really just hurt people. But also like more armor against this famous is gonna go a long way as well. I'm not sure. Okay, looks like Mount is mid. Coming to right, maybe? We'll see um, where he goes. But I want to try to see if we can maybe push the T3 power if possible. Because I know the enemy wants to do the feint to this, but we can try to split the attention by going on to this um, objective. And without your E, by the way, in Graceland, you do a lot of more damage to this um, turret as well. Uh, he's just gonna run away. We'll know him because I want the T2 tower more than anything. And I think we should prioritize getting that rather than chasing the fame out who's gonna keep running in circles. Like a little like um slippery assassin he is. Mm, maybe this is being radius, maybe not. It doesn't seem like to be in the radius, but I just got my tower in like I really wanted to. <laughs> He's gonna use his quest to run away. And this is what I mean, like, it's really annoying in this matchup because this is what I mean. We can never really kill the Fae Mal if he actually wants to just not fight us. But that also means that he can never kill us because he can never 100 heal us in any given day. So we got the T2 tower, that's a net win for us, I would say. So let's just get the tier buff and we can look to reset um, here in just a sec. I must resupply. So let's get Citadel. Um, maybe, yeah, I think we'll just go Citadel first because I think I want to slowly find a way to start transitioning to these team fights. So we lost the second thing too. We're still up on kills, but at the same time, we gotta make sure that. I think the objectives with they have to really just run down the spell because Chief Chiefs are gonna start to come online. Uh Fame Mouse definitely gonna rotate into that. I don't think my counts will be like that. Oh that's it's just way too late. She just got a little bit too greedy trying to invade right there. I'm gonna go on my way mid. Like, I don't think I can split push for inhibitor. I should try to defend this uh, mid tower if anything. Nice. Oh, Bamba wants to kind of try to throw hands right here as well. But I don't think he can do anything with us three right there. Nice, let's try to see if we can maybe push with this um, mid tower. And this is what I mean, I knew Peak is really gonna split push, even if it means that um, we, he's losing this T2, T2 mid, he's gonna keep on split pushing right there. And now we give one more wave. My kill should be able to finish it, and now we can reset. Towers and he's gonna keep on pushing. You can say that is peak gameplay right here. Sorry for the bad pun. I thought that's just the perfect opportunity to make it right there. I'm a little bit off on my sale though. I really want to get this on this back, so I'm gonna try and farm a little bit for it. So I think all I need to do is grab one more wave and I should have enough for it. There's no way they're gonna do that, right? I don't think that they're making that call right now. But my um, August wants to check it just in case. Okay, looks like they were trying to water something on my way. Okay. 
We can back off then, it's fine. I can't fight because I have to uh, reset at this point. I shan't be long. We have a faint just coming up. Thankfully, it's not up just yet, so we're not gonna lose it right away. So I'm gonna get my citadel and I'm gonna be my way right. And again, he always loved to just split push, that's all he really does as a player, so I unfortunately have the match tight even though I really want to go help my team on this Fang fights. fight. And my why is shut out a decent amount. I feel like um the faint mount is rotating, so I have to like hover my team and match it. We should definitely go for faint switch right now. Okay, we're gonna just be in the pit just in case they try to do anything funny onto this. Doesn't seem like they are, so we're gonna back off. We are going to go mid to make sure we don't lose the tower right here. So I think our first item this game is going to be Tainted God. Just because it's going to be really great against the healing they have with the Sparrow Face and Chimera. So we're going to just offer that here in just a sec. It's doing too buff. I can't really take it. So we'll just go ahead and I guess we're gonna train him right here. And he's running away once again, ladies and gents. He's running. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, dude. He's just gonna keep running away like that. You know you can win. I mean, that's what you should do, but like, that's always funny to see a really aggressive player. Turn terror one immediately like that. And time is right there, but we're still gonna try and take what we can get right here. Nice. That's the... I'm trying to figure out how I was taking a lot of DOT damage right there. By the kind of interesting. Hmm, looks like my team wants to do... We can't do it because we don't have jungler as the issue. Yeah, I don't think we can do it. We don't have jungler. It's just really grief to try to do that without jungler. Especially. I'll take my leave. Let's get um, Tainted God started, so it's gonna be great against the healing kind of comp they got going. And my physical armor is always really great against the fame up big, too. Fame up looks like he's keen to be looking at left a lot. So let's go right, let's just push a little bit. If anything, if someone else goes push out right, I think we have a lot better sh chance of chasing them like this August right here. So I don't know if He's trying to look at him if he's still pushing right here. Okay, it doesn't look like he's gonna be doing that. Okay, I have to go to the mid because Fame Mao is there. I don't want to make make my team face it 4v5 without me, so I'm gonna try to get this fast I can. Nice. And that actually being a really great pick for us, and that yeah, that should definitely be a call for prime. I'm gonna make sure that it shoves in so we have all the lanes pushing in our favor.
we should finish this first before we look to go in. Yep, now we're gonna be trying to look onto the face first. Then she's the one that's a lot easier to chase down for us. Very good stuff. They were still alive. We're gonna see if we can catch up to her maybe. Okay, yeah, she's long gone, so let's look at I'm gonna go right because I wanna go split push right now, so or we might actually go for prime mode instead. So either way, I'm gonna make sure right isn't the best boss for if we want to push it or when we want to get this shelf out so they have less time to push this in for sneaking inhibitor right here. I could honestly just split push. Maybe I can get with split pushing um while my team doing the prime mode, but if I mean, I feel like Raymark just kind of knows me at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna rotate to this. I feel like it's just way better for me to be the fun liney, um, to just kind of run down the spell. But yeah, it looks like the Raymark is gonna be um going in to um push to push right. Three people. Interesting stuff. That means that we should get Primal then, because that's like all of them kind of helping that right a little bit right there. We definitely bust this down before the Chimera comes in, so let's just focus on this. Now we can look at the Chimera right here. As if he's gonna blink immediately. I'm not sure we can chase that anymore. I'm just gonna go mid because I want I'm gonna grab this wave and try to see if we can make a push happen mid for our team. Killing spree. Oh things are not looking so hot. Maybe we can turn this around still? back off then a little bit since we don't have the team right here but that's better than the ultimate at the same time okay Bear is gonna blink that means that if we decide to tower dive her she definitely can't get away from us at this point so i might be the one to tower dive her honestly because it's gonna be a pretty easy kill for us i feel Oh, it's gonna be a dead camera too, nice. Okay, I'm not gonna overshade that too hard without my team good especially, so let's back off. And now we have a way pushing to the core. I'm just off the melee, just I'm getting kind of low. I'm gonna blink since it seems like we're all not pushing in anymore. Okay, so it looks like we're all just gonna take our time a little bit more. So let's actually lay off a little bit, get back up with our primal, and just focus on getting hit down first. Because we don't have to prime anymore, so things might get a little bit hard to push. But we can definitely try still to go for left. Oh my god, I need one more hit on that. I thought that guy right there. Not gonna lie. That's my bad. I really thought that was the dead inhibitor, but it's literally just one HP. Literally just one HP, that's so unfortunate. Cause I got off of it as soon as I saw the fame I was going for it, and I thought my last hit got it right there. So we can't push anymore, so might as well just back off right here. Last item. Eh, right now, let's just, just go full physical right here. The so comes up is going to be pretty nice for us for more increased um, damage. The heal will also be nice too, so we can heal more off of our ultimate. So, it's going to be built with four physical armor irons, and we still do a lot of damage, by the way. Mm, I'm not going to chase that without like vision on the enemy team, so I'll back off for now.
Mm. Okay, I think I've just been pushed left. Um, I feel like my team should try to pressure like old prime right here. Well, I can try to pressure the left inhibitor that's almost dead. Maybe I can just spell, who knows. Nice. We have the pinch of right there, so that's a dead spell. And I think I'm gonna... Maybe I'll grab this wave right here, so my left is set to pushing, and then we'll go at the old time fight right here. Oh, uh, you know what? I feel like all the enemies are on this old fine fight right here, so I'm actually gonna split push for once, and maybe I can pressure to end this game. They're all too busy with the old fine right there. I feel like my team is totally fine without me, especially since it's gonna be a 4v4 regardless. Yep, they're fine. And now I'm always still pushing right here, but it's just a faint mouth to defend. Let me de a dead fame out because we got the stuns on him to lo really lock him down. And this really takes a couple of hits and then it's gonna go down. Nice. Alright, phase is just gonna hard distract and I think I'm gonna look to kinda end right there, but the spell they're gonna look to kinda FF instead before we can get our hands on the prize of that code right there. It's a really kind of great gameplay right there. Not like a super hot like KDA, but we did what we offline need to do and just kind of win lane. Keep pressuring the side lanes to kind of let our team do whatever the heck they want to do and just be there for this fight that matters the most. So take a look, quick look at the stats. So that's actually kind of interesting. Like looking right here, like the fame out really popping off. Kira doing great and we still did more damage than them. And that's an art. It was that August 8 a support we have that game and he still did that much damage? Yeah, August is indeed balanced with a hint of sarcasm right there. But yeah, really great stuff. Um I think this is the kind of gameplay some of you guys will, will kind of wait a little bit more uh, see a little bit more high competitive um gameplay. Not that that um I don't try to do that normally, it's just like with the old matchmaking it was kinda of hard to get some of these stack lobbies. Um, like this one. It didn't look like that towards the end right there, but we went against a great off lane of peak right here and um there were a really great support quest here. So like this is actually a really just great lobby um full of like um great high level kind of players for the most part. So not every day we get to see some of that so I'm glad we could uh, showcase some of that with the greystone on this new skin right here nevertheless. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me down in the comments about the heroes, about the builds from each showcase. Thank you as always for the amazing support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.